Welcome, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. So this is another episode of Student Struggles. We have my good friend Jolanne. We get into her little background and stuff. Mm-hmm. But hopefully we can have a conversation as we see that could benefit. Younger version of me, 15-year-old version of you, 15-year-old version of me, around that's our age, and we see what happens. Cool. So if you could give a slight introduction and don't worry if you propping up and gassing yourself, it's all okay. Okay, well, my name is Joanne. You don't speak so, don't do that. I've got to tell you so all the time when you come over here. All right, boy, I come here, it'd be like, oh, speak. I want to hear it raw. All right, that's not bad. Raw? Speak plain. Don't be playing on the... No. My name is Joanne. Uh-huh, good. That's how you talk, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. I am recently a graduate of UE. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, so Congrats. I'm very happy about that. And mm-hmm. I am also the owner of Lavish Aspirations. Go ahead, get a little plug there. Of yeah. course, of course. <laughs> I think I'll give you one later too, but you can start with it too. <laughs> For sure. So it's nice to have you on. And we can get, I want to get right into it. Um, how, how excited are you to have graduated given? Our whole three-year journey, oh, but it's not even three year? years. You had to do, we had to do extra, extra semester. semester. Uh huh. You could talk about that. Some, some is it, you know? Uh, okay, so UE, I usually tell a lot of people UE is stress, stress, and more stress. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you get through it. You have to get through it because it's like, what else are you gonna do? True. It's like the sink or swim. And for me, I ain't plan to sink. Uh huh. So yeah, it's be a lot of stress. Um, a lot of hard work. Doing the extra semester is not something they had actually set out to do at first. No like, one does. Yeah, yeah. it kind of sucks, but it was better in the sense that I was able to, you know, then less on my workload at school a little bit because I used to do five courses every semester. Mm-hmm. Then I dropped down to four. Right. So that it was not better because you work is you work, but mm-hmm. it was less. So, yeah. If you if you could go back and talk to your first year self, would you have done four s- courses every single year up until your last semester, or would you be like mm-hmm. done five for the first year and then take a step back? I think the way I chose my courses, I don't think I would have chosen them any differently. Mm-hmm. I feel like I would have probably just tell myself to be a bit more serious. I was there, but I wasn't there there. If that makes sense, elaborate. Okay, so I was at UE, yes. It was my first semester at UE. Mm-hmm. But um, you have to kind of hold yourself accountable because it's really easy to be distracted. Yes. It's really easy to be demotivated, all these different things. So I would have just tell myself, you know, focus a little more and put more effort into, especially the harder courses like stats. Everybody is talking about statistics. <laughs> <laughs> but... <yeah. laughs> Uh-huh. But yes, um, if I could have done more in terms of paying more attention, I would have sooner. When I did start paying close attention, it was kind of <laughs> too late. But yes, I would have definitely paid more attention in first year. Okay. So it's interesting you say that because mm-hmm. a, a lot of people have that regret to some degree. When you talk about when you finally took it serious, it mm-hmm. was too late. When what About what time was that? Um, I guess like around mid to late semester, so that would have been coming up to and this is which year and stuff. That would have been the first first semester, either the first or second semester, first year. Okay, mm-hmm. but that makes sense because you know all of us is in, and I think too, I think about and not just university here, universities all around the world, mm-hmm. it's a lot easier to get distracted because you're not in a structured environment like secondary school. Whereas, like, you got you come in uniform, you don't have to go to class, exactly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people live on our campus and doing all sorts of whatever. Yeah. So, given that perspective that you have, if it was, like, the three big things you think that you could have done better or you would have liked, like, in your ideal university experience, you would have liked to have done, mm. going back and be, like, three things you wish you could have hit or even if you did, that would have, like, made your experience a lot easier or better in yeah. some way. Okay, so I guess the first thing, again, as I would have said, pay more attention. Um, The second thing would have been try to, I didn't really go into UE. I went into UE knowing people, yes, Mm -hmm. but I didn't go into UE with, like, persons where I say that it would be that close to them. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely, I would have built more relationships. And then, as you, you were saying, study groups. 
I did not do anything like that in first year. Okay. So yeah, study groups, study sessions, in terms of going, um, bouncing information off of other people. Those right. things definitely help me out in the latter in the UE. Right, because so, we we kind of talking about it before we started recording. Mm-hmm. Like, life, school is a multiplayer game. It's not a single player game. Yeah. Your grades don't just reflect what you did. It reflects, like, who's assisted you along that journey or whatever. 100%. When we talk about paying more attention, like, you could be more specific. How do you mean, like, paying more attention? It's like, oh, in you're just going through class, the motions? In terms of classes, mm-hmm. um, it's easy to zone out in right. the lectures. But what I would have told myself is to, even if I did zone out from them talking, I could have zoned out instead of being on my phone doing absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. I could have probably like actually read notes more um, than I did. I would tend to read notes later on, like as yeah, kind of like a plain catch up thing. And yeah, that especially for saying like stats. Yeah, that's good advice. I will also say this too. I don't know if we ever had this conversation when we was at school. For anybody who don't know, we went we went to school together like majority of our lives. Like yeah. Joe Nazi homie. But um, I was telling one of my clients this recently mm-hmm. that when you have a new subject, there were some studies done that you should actually take the final exam for that subject. Okay. And the reason it being is opposite to what you said. You, you won't be behind. But it's because like, I think they use the analogy that imagine if you build a road, you pave a road to a building that is not built yet. Mm-hmm. So when the building is already built, you already have the pathway to that building. Okay. So it's similar to now like I do the final exam. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it, obviously I don't know much. But my brain obviously trying to piece it together. Does this correlate with this, this, and this, and this? But then we actually do the, the you do the curriculum mm-hmm. and know about it is like more embedded because is you already try to figure it out before, but no, no, you have the answers to the questions you've been asking is like more refined. I haven't done it obviously because I go to school now, but mm-hmm. it's something interesting that I want to think about because lectures in himself we just said are very boring. So like shoving it's 200 people in a class a yeah and i was gonna ask you too do you know what, don't you think that you could have sometimes got them just as much out of the lectures if you had just done the powerpoints from home or ready notes from home? i had to do that for class um i won't call the name of the class yeah don't do that but i literally had stopped going to class and started reading the notes on my own because the person was moving at this pace that i was just like yeah i lost already half the class lost and when you ask for explanations, it's like, well, I can go through it in the lecture, but if you don't get it, you could go back through the recording. Right. And it's like, okay, so if I don't re- understand what you're saying in the recording, I can't ask you the question that I have face-to-face. And that happened to me a lot, too, where I would be going over the recordings, and I would understand, but, like, it would be something missing, and I would got a question based on that. And I can't ask anything about yeah. it. And it doesn't make sense going back the following week because it's like... You already had, you already gone to something else. Back. So, yeah, I had to definitely stop doing that. And I truly think that's the only thing that helped me pass that course because when I took the time to go through it, the way that I was at my pace, at my mm. level... It was way easier to actually understand. I started understanding what he was explaining in yeah. class. So I think I know who you're talking about, but anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> I could be very sure who you're talking about. It's okay. Mm-hmm. 